campeonato. Hi there, my name is Shauna Bernardin and I'm here to welcome you to our very first episode of GGTV. I know, right? It's crazy. We've had a crazy two weeks. We spent one full week of taping. This is our second week. We've had one week of actually posting videos and we are almost at 500. You guys are blowing our minds. Thank you guys so much. So today, what we're going to do, this is my little girl, Sparky, and she's a white toy poodle female. She's really cute. I really love her. She's such a little doll. And what I'm going to do for you guys today is I'm going to do uh, a clean foot. I know a lot of you guys struggle. This was a personal struggle for me when I was first learning. Oh, it was so hard. And the clippers were a lot bigger. So I really hope I can give you guys some really great tips today. And thank you guys. I'm having such a blast doing this. We're back with my girl Sparky here. She's had her bath and her blow dry. And today I'm going to share with you guys some great tricks on doing clean feet. For me, that was one of the biggest personal struggles I had when I was learning how to groom. And I feel like this is a really important video. Just recently I've been seeing a lot of videos out there on how to shave feet and I feel like they're pretty dangerous. I'm going to give you guys some really, really easy tricks that you can use to help you. Number one. I always use the R501 clippers. It doesn't matter if it's a Kermado, the Arco, the Grog, Bellissima, it doesn't matter. Use the 501. They're, first of all, they're really lightweight. They don't heat up. Your hands aren't going to kill you. That's a big thing is your hands killing you. So I'm gonna kick it down to a number 15 blade. She's white. If she was a black toy poodle, I might go a little bit higher, but you can safely go in the middle on the 15 and you're gonna be fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly in front of the dog. Oh, this is another really good tip to you guys too. I always shave their feet on clean hair and I don't shave the toenails first. If you have longer toenails, it's easier to get in and around those toenails. So I'm going to hold the foot just directly here in front of me. And I use my thumb as a guide, okay? So it's right at the pasture. If you don't know what the pasture is, that's right at your wrist, the dog's wrist, okay? So you're just gonna hold that hair up so you don't go into the top of it. And I'm just gonna clear the whole top of the foot. And you're just gonna go around and you're just gonna clear that whole top of the foot, okay? Then, if you take your pinky, this is the part that I really, really struggled with, so try to care, catch on here. If you just take your pinky, you can spread those toes. And I sort of put a little tiny bit of pressure on the top of the toe, okay? So you want, and what, another thing, I always go in each, under each toe, and I pull the hair out before I ever go in underneath the shave that. I'm gonna pull the hair out from underneath that toe. And when you're going in around the toes, it's just a nice, you're not jamming. A lot of the videos I've been seeing these days are this, and they're doing this. I'm Trust me, you're going to cut the dog doing that. This is a much safer way of doing clean feet. Pull the hair out from underneath the toe, spread the toe from underneath, and gently wrap it around. Pull the hair out from underneath of the toe and wrap it around. Under the toe, the same thing. If you do this every single time the exact same way, I promise you, your speed will get better and it will get better. The only way to get better at doing clean feet is to practice, practice, practice all the time. But I'm actually living proof that you can get better at it because I honestly, I was the worst at clean feet of anybody I've ever met. So then I just wanted to show you the back side. From the back of the dog and you tip the foot backwards to you, you want to clear, this is called a stomp pad. You want to clear the back of the stomp pad. And if you take the two outside digits and you spread them apart, you have lots of room to get in there and clear out those pads. Now just remember, this is a tiny little toy poodle. She's only about six pounds. 
If you guys have questions about this, make sure you drop it in the comments and I'll totally try to give you as much help as I can. I know how much of a struggle that that can be. So I just wanted to share another little trick or tip or whatever you want to call it for this little girl. Uh, and you guys can try this in the shop. Please, please, please try this. Instead of shaving her super, super short, this is a great commercial length. It's just the little brown peach, orange, whatever you call it, the number one. We're gonna slide that on the back of our wall Rivera and put that all the way over to a 40 blade. Make sure she's back and blow dried out before you do it. And I'm gonna stand with the dog parallel to my body. I usually pull the skin just a little bit tight. And I'm just gonna take that straight back. And you can see how much hair I've taken off but also how nice she is. So it's short, but it's not to the bone. I guess what my point is, you guys, is that if you start to think about your commercial haircuts a little differently, you're gonna get really, really pretty haircuts out there. Your clients are gonna be able to maintain them. You're gonna get noticed at the off-leash. Remember, these haircuts, that's your signature. That's you that's out there, okay? So you can see this is after we have back brushed up three times around the dog with the one number one attachment. This is the amount of hair we have gotten off in less than five minutes. But what I really more importantly want you to look at is how cute this is for a commercial haircut. Now all we really have to do is just go around, scissor up her bracelets, anything that's hanging out, her tail and her head. Here's a little Sparky and her little commercial haircut. Uh, that's just the number one all over, straight up, all over, we scissor her up after. I have a lot to do on poodles. I think poodle people like it too. You don't have to, but it's just for fun. Uh, you can just put in a little bow in the ear. Lots of people really, really struggle with this. If I give you a quick second just to show you how to do it. Um, if you just take a small tuft of hair just over the top of the ear, not too big, you don't want to make it too big and you don't want to make it too small. Just separate it and you're going to take the bow, put it over once, turn it around twice, turn it around. And then if you just take this little piece of hair at the bottom and just sort of there, it goes in perfect every time. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of GGTV. If you are enjoying these videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Can't wait till the next episode.